Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to cover the most important question of the CKA exam. Uh, so this question will actually feature in CKA exam only. Uh, it, very rare chances that it features in CKAD, CKAD right? And this is uh, about uh, HCD backup and restore, right? So we are going to cover HCD backup and restore in this question. Uh, if you're lucky, uh, you would get either backup or restore. So either they would ask you to backup or they would ask you to just restore. They'll give you the DB and they'll just ask you to restore. And if you're very unlucky, you would get both. So you would actually have to do backup and restore from that backup, right? So, and for this question, you actually have to SSH onto the master node of your cluster, whatever cluster you, you get for this. And one more thing, you should always attempt this question at the end of the exam because there are very high chances that if you mess up the cluster, right, if you mess up at CD, uh, any other question related to that cluster, you won't be able to do, right? So that's just keep that in mind. So if you see at CD backup or restore, especially restore, back, if backup is there, backup is fine, backup is easy. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you if you get uh, restore question, right? So for restore, try to do it at the end of the paper when you're done with everything. And that would actually minimize the chances of you messing up other questions because of this. All right. And like I said, you actually have to SSH onto the master node for this and you would be away. I mean, you would have etcd, CTL and everything available to you uh, on the master node. So the first thing, uh, what, uh, what I want you to do in the exam, in the question is basically cat out uh, ATC, Kubernetes, manifest, etcd.yaml <coughs> file. So you would actually I mean, we'll actually use values from here, right? Uh, when we take the backup and uh, when we restore it, right? So this is a good thing just to take, a <coughs> just to cat out this file. All right, let me clear the screen. So let's start by taking uh, the backup of our etcd. So you need to set uh, the etcd CTL API version. So you do it by etcd CTL. API equal three, right? So this is basically that CD uh, CTL API, which we are basically the command line CLI tool, which we are going to use to take the backup, right? So at CD CTL, CD CTL, right? And then we need to take a, a snapshot. Right, and then we need to put save because we want to save this. So etcd snapshot save, and then, then we need to give the name of the snapshot. So I'll just give it, uh, what you call, my backup dot db. So uh, the prefix should be dot db, right? And then you need to provide the authentication to the cluster. So for that, uh, not to the, to the cluster, to the etcd. So we need uh, csert, right? So you can get that from the file which we just scattered out. I already remember that. So etc, Kubernetes, PKI, etcd, and that would be ca.crt, right? Then we need to give the cert file, which is again etcd, etc. Kubernetes, PKI, etcd, and server.crt, and the key file. So just copy this. I'm tired of typing every time, right? Paste it over here and server.key. Let's hit enter. And if you see this output, right? You can see at the end it says snapshot saved at my backup.db. Okay. So if you do ls lrt, you would see my backup.db is saved. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm actually down with fever and cold and cough from last few days. So but I don't I didn't want to skip the day. I wanted this video to go out today. All right. So kubectl. Uh, run web server 
image equal nginx all right so you must be wondering why i created this part let me clear the screen okay so i have created this part because this part is not the part of our backup right so when we restore our backup this part should be gone okay all right so now we coming to the tough part which is restore uh, the commands are pretty much the same right but just need to check one thing so i actually have to kubernetes manifest etcd.yaml i am looking for the data directory and it is where lib etcd so we are going to use the same data directory right so we're not going to use a different data data directory but before using that let's just do rm hyphen rf and delete everything which is there right so now if we do the restore command so i'm just going up arrow to my backup command right because it's a very long command i don't want to type it no not now so etcd snapshot the command is instead of save it is restore right and my backup.db and you also need to give the data dir which is where live etcd and i also give one endpoint uh, endpoints and for that i actually have to <laughs> again look at the file so let me just comment out this command hit enter get out the file and what i'm looking for is this endpoint okay Let's just go to role uh, and yeah let's put it over here let me clear the screen so we're not at the top of the screen let me go to the beginning of the command and get rid of the comment and it looks fine to me so if we have not made any mistakes because if we if you do make a mistake uh, your cluster is like literally fucked and you you have no ch i mean very rare chances to recover from that especially when given the exam pressure and stuff like that right let's hit enter is not empty okay so if you get this again you just do an rm hyphen rf on this and again try the command and looks like it has restored a snapshot all right so let me clear the screen and first let's do kubectl get pods so the pod which was running the web server it is gone let's look at kubectl get pods in the kube system namespace right ctl get pods cube system and let's see so this is actually when you get anxious right so where is our hcd control plane it's running okay but uh, why it has not restarted my cd why all right let's do cube ctl describe pods but you know our backup is restored right and our hcd control plane is now running without any issues otherwise it would have i mean we would have seen some issues but let's do describe on pods just to be sure so yeah age is 61 second container failed in and then we have container created all right so 50 seconds right so this is actually more recent one 50 seconds back <coughs> 
all right so yes so this is actually you can see 97 seconds ago this has restarted it was not there earlier right and it has also resulted in restart of our controller manager and our scheduler you can see that when we restore etcd you would see this i mean i actually also never paid attention to it but uh, with you guys i am also learning so that's a great thing so with etcd controller when you restart it right so you see you restart the controller manager and the scheduler all right so that's pretty much it for this video guys this was this is actually a very uh, high weightage question in the, in the exam so do pay attention to this if you mess it up uh, i mean given the exam pressure it's very hard to go back and fix everything so be very very vigilant when you are att attempting this question attempt it at the end of the exam don't try to force yourself that you, you know restore and backup if you get backup backup is easy you can do it whenever you want but the restore is the uh, critical part right it's a complicated part so just be sure of that right so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching